Hello everyone, this is a video about the file backup option in Home Edition of our backup software. This option is dedicated to help you protect the important files on your PC by creating an image file. Let's run the software first. You may run it directly from desktop shortcut or working with the Windows search box to look for the keyword to do or to do. And run it with administrator privilege. The file backup option is here. Clicking on it, the configuration page appears. Properly using the options we offer here can help you build high-level, customizable, and flexible backup tasks. Okay, let's go through these options one by one. First, in this area, you need to decide what files you want to backup. To backup a single file or folder, or combine files folders from different paths or different partitions is possible. Files on mapped drive or network shared folder can also be backed up with correct permission assigned. And here is a file type which can help you backup specific file types only from selected folders. Like I selected the favorites folder and also take the document on the right hand side, which results in that only document files in favorites folder will be included in the backup task. Meanwhile, we offer an edit button here which allows you to remove default file types or add new file type when necessary. Then in this section, you are able to select a new path for the backup task by clicking on Browse. Now we support network shared folder, NAS device, and cloud device as a backup destination. In addition to that, add an easy to identify name and description to the backup task is also possible here. The last three options are very important and useful in order to customize a proper and more efficient backup task. Schedule can help you create tasks to run automatically on a regular basis. Image reserve strategies used to clean up old image files to make sure there are always enough space for upcoming image files in the schedule backup. The backup option here offers a lot of customizable settings that allows you to create a flexible backup task working better in your situation. Like see the password for the image files, enable email notification after backup finishes, and execute a command before and after the backup process. We have dedicated videos in our system to separately introduce the three options. So for more details on how to use them in a better way, just have a look at our system please. Click on proceed, the backup will start. While the backup is running, the operation option here can help you shut down the PC or turn the PC into sleep mode after the backup finishes. After the backup created, we have a backup record here. Right clicking on it will give you a menu containing some further operations you can do to the task. Recovery works the same as a separate recovery button here, which is used to start the recovery process. And the recovery configuration page contains history version. If you have already run the backup more than one time, then choose a specific version to recover it as possible. The files can be recovered to a new path or original path. Do not click the option replace existing files unless you really need that. And the original copies will be overwritten after the operation. Click proceed to start the recovery after options are properly configured. Next option is a backup. The backup button can only do another full backup to the selected files folders with the same configuration. However, in the right click menu, three backup types are all available. To know more about the difference between them, I also have another video about it. Edit Backup can bring the backup configuration page back to you. All the options here can be updated or modified based on your latest requirements, but not the space, encryption, and file exclusion in backup options. There are the exception items, so if you want to add a password to the backup file, you need to enable the option before the backup actually starts. Image Manager lists all image files and their type created time in a table. Check image file is used to help you verify if the image files are still good for recovery. The next option can help you remove the task record here or image file as well by checking this box. Open location gives you the path where the image files are existed. Here I'll take the chance to introduce you the other way to recover files folders from an image file. It is to access the image file by double clicking on it and copy or recovery the necessary files or folders out of the image file for use. Please note that this can only be done on the machine which has our product installed. Ok, this is all the basic information about this option. If you still have any other questions, do not hesitate to contact us by sending an email to support at Thank you very much for watching.